fitting for this video, you guys. I thought it was fitting to wear my tribe shirt, my team my team shirt from when I was in Beachbody because I'm going to be talking about my recruiting process, my video, we're going to react to it. So I thought it was fitting to wear my tribe crew. Let me see what it says. Tribe, together we are stronger. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Grab your sip sip because we have, you know, just a day. Just a day. You guys, like, I just have to thank you guys so much for supporting me and for listening to what I have to say because this channel is about bringing awareness and just sharing the truth behind the whole picture, right? There's, there's a little bit of good, but there's a lot of ugly and they just only show and they showcase that good. MLMs do where I, I just I can't sit back and just like literally watch people get recruited and recruited into this false hope and this false dream and this false promise that we that's it's really never probably ever gonna happen to them because it's just the fact it doesn't work that way and I just really appreciate you guys being here sharing it sharing it with your friends talking to me in the DMs on how you feel about things sorry Deanna it was you okay so talking to me and just kind of sharing your thoughts and feelings and opinions like I really appreciate it the the support the overwhelming support and just respect has been so awesome I really want that both ways I am coming here to just share and educate and everything's my opinion everything is for edu entertainment and education purposes only and I just I want to spread the word in this that's like probably my, my hashtag too I have a lot of little different things like bring the good and be just be aware and I, I want to talk about that first okay so today we're gonna talk about things a little bit different we're gonna focus on me I guess you could say you guys can see I just passed the 500 subscriber mark and I just have to thank you so much so I just thought I would do like a little about me but also keep it anti MLM and we'll, we're, I'm gonna expose myself so I thought I would talk just a little bit about me really quick and then we'd get into a reaction part of me reacting to my recruitment video I guess you could say and so it's not too long and it should be a pretty quick video so I just want to thank you guys so much for your support and your love and we'll get right into it I do want to announce I told Deanna like at the 500 mark maybe I would launch my own merch line and of course it's just totally optional I just think it's super cute and I, I definitely want to just want one for myself so I, I just have the option out there uh, my podcast and my motto is bring the good so down below you'll see a link you can just look at it um, and give me your opinions what would you want differently what would what do you think of it it's just a super dainty it's gonna say bring the good right here on the left side on the t-shirt and or on the shirt and I would just love to know your opinion I think I love dainty and but I also like bold too but I really just like dainty and of course more will come in the future but I just thought it'd be really cool so if you ever were interested that is down there as an option so we're gonna get right into this video I have always been a big I guess dreamer I think we all are I think we all like to dream and have like big expectations and hopes for ourselves and our lives and that's why I think MLMs are so appealing and uh, they really just kind of they, they're, they're, they're really good at like come here come here I'll hug you and I'll, I'll get you in because you want your dreams to happen, right? And it's like, of course, who doesn't want that to happen? You want it to be a start, a cheap startup cost, right? Yes, of course. Okay. So, of course. So, like, I have always grown up that way and I have always, I never really knew what I wanted to do. I can never really figure out what the heck I wanted to do. I went to college for dental assisting and before that, I would, I, I live in North Dakota, Minnesota. I grew up in Minnesota and now I live in North Dakota. And so, it's cold up here, you guys. So, that is kind of just like my location, my whereabouts. But, more so on like my life I went to school for to be a dental assistant and I really liked it I have a lot of like I have some family that's in dental and it's like that's how I kind of know more about the dental fields and everything but I never really grew up knowing like the possibilities of what could be you know I, I didn't know what a producer was I didn't know what all could be possible in a life like this so I just saw what I saw in my small towns you know like that's what I knew and so I kind of just stuck with that which is completely fine but I just kind of liked it I didn't love it and so that's why I think this MLM was so appealing because I've always loved fitness and not like love fitness like in college I was gaining weight a little bit and so like I loved Whitney Simmons she was like one of my she was my girl like I remember a season of life when I was like talking like her and it was just a whole thing and I really looked up to her and I still do but that's when I was like really making fitness a priority and 
I loved posting about it and so I wanted that I was always like well, maybe I should be a youtuber I can do something like Whitney is doing you know and so like my dreams started like really popping up like that and so like it always stuck YouTube always stuck but I didn't know and, like I kept on noticing like maybe fitness isn't sticking but I, I wanted it to I was like what way what other way can I go you know fitness has to work and so then I was going through dental assisting and it just kind of was getting to be like really hard on me on myself I guess so it was just it was too much and that at that time I had been in dental assisting for almost two years almost two years before quitting and I joined Beachbody like a year and a half a year yeah about a year and a half in a little bit like a month or so after my wedding actually and so I was in a really dark place at that time guys like I was gaining weight I was like the heaviest I've ever been around my wedding time and I was just really hard on myself like I wasn't totally loving my job and I was drinking a lot and I was I was just really really in a dark place and so of course that makes me the the vulnerable target and so I joined I was in that honeymoon phase I loved it I was I didn't see anything wrong. I was so hyped up I was just like oh something bright in my life something's making sense I'm losing weight like everything just seemed so right and so I was so confident in it a few months into coaching uh, I was seeing like you know some income because I was actually working. I was putting a ton of hours in you guys. Like I was busting my butt, DMing after DMing. And it was just like, at the time I just, it, it felt right. Like I knew DM DMing sounded like it felt wrong, but like in training, they make it feel so right where that's kind of where the brainwashing comes in. And I remember like, okay, this, how can, like just imagine me doing full time. And the January, the next January came around and I decided to quit fulfilling or retire my dental assisting job and you know how coaches say retire so I just quit the job honestly and so I was like okay just imagine what I can do full-time if I'm making like okay money part-time okay so then it actually honestly got worse after I went full-time because it was really difficult it was a difficult adjustment it's something that you know it's the, the guidance kind of got away like it's a whole new ball game when when you're doing it full-time and you're, you're not under pressure I guess with time like after work like I was like I only had like a few hours Hours to actually do this so I was gonna be hustling 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 not seeing Adam like literally not seeing him because they tell you to sacrifice your first year or whatever cancel all your plans and hustle 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 so the next years to come you can have the freedom of your whatever that's kind of like my story and how I got into it but we're gonna react to my video on how, what I sent out to potential coaches and right now I guess I should finish my thing off about me I guess is I'm just fulfilling like I'm I live in the middle of nowhere now. Adam has a job he loves. I'm married. I have a dog. Um, we're we're just I'm we'll be married for two years now come July. So like we're we're just kind of living our married life right now, and we're just we're we're just content and we're happy. And so I'm just working on finding myself and where I want to be. And it's slowly building, and it's the stepping stones are being placed, and I'm fine. I'm finally feeling like I'm figuring it out. I know I've said that a lot in the past, but like it's just it keeps it keeps just getting a little bit brighter and a little bit more right and so I'm really excited for that but we're gonna get right into this video because I'm sure it's just I'm very proud of it I'm sure so hey guys welcome back so hey guys welcome back hey guys thanks for clicking on the video and and I just want to put this out here really quick like I made several of these because it was recommended that you make one every month uh, just like either update it or just kind of you get better behind the camera they say so like your first ones are pretty dang awkward that's what I should do is go to my first one I'm gonna go to my last one here um, and this one was in January so January 2020 was this video wanting to chat with me really quick so I'm gonna talk about my fit gym so First of all, I'm gonna give you like a little tiny backstory. I can literally chat on and on and on. So I'm gonna make this really quick because I know we're all busy. So I used to love health and fitness in college. Then the real world hit. I gained weight. I started, you know, I was just, I was very down on um, where my life was going. It wasn't the right job. It wasn't, I was working actually two jobs at the time. It was very, I just dreadful. Like I woke up not happy. Like I didn't want to wake up. And it just kind of became a spiral pattern. I was drinking basically every night. It was Mike's. I would literally go out to bars till like 2 in the morning and have to wake up at 5, 5.30 to get to work. Like that's how much I didn't care. And um, I was very uh, not... So I'm just going to stop it right there really quick. When I'm talking about this, like I'm not over-exaggerating. But the point that I'm talking about this, like we have scripts kind of when we make these videos on what to talk about, like you want to hit that emotional factor. You want to be relatable. You want to feel like you can relate with them and just like 
hit them on a personal level and that vulnerability maybe come out, you know? So when I'm talking like this, like why am I talking about my dark times? Like why does it have to be a dark time into like, it's because of the emotional aspect. It's because people that join these things are usually in a lower spot in their life. And so that's why we're told to talk like this and be really super negative and sad. And you know, the thing is, is like, it's just really frustrating because I was basically eventually like kind of brainwashed into really bashing my old jobs and it's just like my they're fine they were jobs i didn't love them but i didn't like hate them like there was some joy that came out of it but there it was just so indoctrinated in us to talk like this and really just make mlms be the end all be all and it's just that not it's not the case at all and so that's why you'll see this like it's very common in these videos like they'll really just hit it with like the most sad part and then like how coaching just switched everything up and it's like i was in a dark place yes but a lot of things would have gotten me out of this, right? Like I had control over that and I do plan to make uh, videos in the future on how different ways you can maybe work on that through growth and personal and just kind of like self-reflection. It does not need to take an MLM to get out of a rut like this. Impressive. I was just very like kind of going with the flow, settling. Um, so I, I definitely struggled. I was putting on the pounds. I was binge eating, binge watching Netflix. Um, I was not helping planning a wedding that I was supposed to be doing and I was the heaviest I've ever been at my wedding A little bit before that my grandma like a month and a half my grandma and my sister told me that I was gaining weight um, I was being very ignorant of myself and they finally told me the truth and that's what I needed to start Taking myself seriously and it scared the hell out of me. It's freaking Killed me inside that they said that because I knew it was true, but until they said it I didn't necessarily believe it like I knew it, but I didn't want to believe it Because um, it's a lot easier to kind of hide and uh, avoid things rather than like owning up and like, okay I actually need to start taking control of my life and so okay. That's another thing too. I'll stop right there so you'll hear a lot of recruiters in really any MLM say how they're taking control of their life I've said it so many times. Anyone can take control of their life and they don't need the MLM to do it. Actually, I feel like I have more control now over my life because I'm out of an MLM. I am, I feel like I have more control over my emotions, my finances, like everything is up to me because the thing is, is like they, they preach how like, take control of your life, be your own boss, you know, control your financial or situation it's like there's zero zero zippo zelch nada control over that emotionally it's draining because you have to consistently be on people's butts about joining remind them that they haven't joined yet keep pestering keep sharing the opportunity and it's just like take control of your life why it's like why don't why do we think that people don't have control of their life just because like they they really truly put mlms on a pedestal you guys like they really think if you're if you're not an MLM, you must be depressed. You must just hate your life because you're not an MLM. Your life sucks because you're not an MLM. It's really, truly, that's like that's how they think. And it's like, that's how I thought for a while. And I, I hate saying that because I truly looked at MLMs and I was like, wow, these are so great. Endless amount of money. And it's like, where was I? I was speaking because I was speaking where my uplines were speaking. I have not seen any of that. I was just listening to what my upline was saying and re, re saying that again because I don't know, it just felt so wrong because I wasn't living the life that we always talk about, you know? And a lot of recruiters don't. They literally just say it out of their butt and then hope it sticks with someone. Of course, it wasn't enough time to start you know, dropping the pounds for the wedding. So just kind of, I was looking for shapewear. I was trying to do all this stuff like every night, you know, trying to get my arms somewhere and it just wasn't working. And so I was the heaviest I've ever been for my wedding. The pictures came back. It was, the reason why it wasn't working is because I was literally doing it under a month before the wedding. I had a lot of work to do. It wasn't because the movement wasn't right. And I'm not saying like this is going to do a lot, but yes, it was really tired. I do remember that. Like that was great. But like, I, I did really like beach body workouts, but towards the end there I did because they're so like heavily like cardio focused too and it's just like I, I don't like that all the time. It was getting to the point where I didn't even want to work out anymore because I didn't want to do all the cardio. You know, like I just put this stuff on a pedestal and it's like anything can help my arms. I can do anything. I can work on my diet. I can do better mentally without beach body. Like I don't need it. They're very painful. I love the day. Everything about the day was perfect. Um, I just didn't feel confident. I definitely um, wish it would have been different, but it's how it is, and that's what caused this to happen now. So I, a month after we got married, 
I finally took control of my health and fitness again and I had a solid plan. I needed help, so I got help. So I needed workouts. I needed, um, cause I would use the gym as my excuse. So I needed something at home. So I, you definitely, like these workouts can be taken. I don't have gym access out here. So yes, home workouts are great. And that's where it was like the perk. But let me tell you, there are so many other programs out there that are home based. You don't need Beachbody's home workout programs to be doing workouts at home. You can make them up yourself. You can find them on Pinterest. Like there's actually programs. And the thing is you guys, like I, I really just want to emphasize this. Beachbody coaches aren't trained. They're not coaches. They're not actually someone who could give you advice. Spend your money if you really truly need help. I did need help. Like I'm not saying I didn't. I'm saying I should have gone to someone who actually knows who they're what they're talking about. Like I should have actually gotten help because now I'm sitting here needing help again because I struggle with my nutrition sometimes and I struggle to want to work out all the time. And I know like at least it's like 80% like nutrition and everything. And like that's where I just struggle is like I, I kind of like binge and I just kind of lose control sometimes. And that's why I get struggling and I get hard on myself and then I start beating myself up and it's just like a thing. Beachbody is not going to help me with that. It won't help me with that. It temporarily put like put me in a spot, but like I need to figure out deep down where that's coming from, and that's through a nutritionist. That's through someone who can actually help me figure out where this is coming from, so I can actually work with it long term, not restrict myself even more. Take it anywhere. I just know that I needed the help as badly the, as badly as I needed the help. I knew taking doing that at home was gonna help me, and so I um, do the workouts at home. The meal plans are very easy to follow. And so it's just with containers, we just work on portions and they correlate with the workouts. So they work hand in hand with the workouts, which is perfect. And the workouts go from very beginner to very advanced. Um, and you know, they very schedule friendly. So there's 20 minute ones to an hour workouts, like it, whatever you need, whatever style you like, there's going to be something there for you. Um, so that's never an excuse is like there's always gonna be something you should always stay excited so we're gonna i have a workout program for you that we can talk about we will put to you we'll put this plan together for you and then the workout or the meal guides will be with that um along with that of course you get me you get the support from the community that we have put together and it's just really exciting um my ever fit gym is I, i'm just so ex i love the support and i love the amazing women in there basically so it's just they're very I just love them to death so I do you have that you guys get so you got get the support the accountability the me I'm your fit cheerleader I'm here for you whenever you need if we need to get on a call and do some meal planning prepping for you um, need to figure out what okay so I'm gonna pause there again so again yes I love the community that was happening there like the accountability that, that you don't need like a certified person for accountability but the fact, like, so I love the fact that, you know, we were able to hold each other accountable and just chat and have that support. But the, the where I was talking about you have me and, like, of course I'm there to be supportive and everything. But, like, I can't, I, li I, I legally cannot give advice. So editing Megan here. So I just wanted to touch on what we're talking about right here. It's such a gray area, I feel like, and I really think it just needs to be focused on more just a little bit because nutrition is so touchy. People, you know, when when this is advertised, it's like customizable, like personalized nutrition plan, right? People, some people can totally do fine with the container system or the intuitive eating type of thing with the 2B mindset or whatever, and that's fine. But some people truly go there with hopes of actually getting personalized help, nutritional, like, with education and everything and that's what I mean it's like yes we can talk on nutrition and what Beachbody gives us like that's there we can use that but without having like certified like certifications or any really education behind it like I feel like it's just a, such a great area and it just needs to be talked about more because I just feel like it's so wrong in a way because people really struggle with you know mindset and eating and there's binge eating and there's restriction and there's you know it's just there's so many different things that I feel like it's so generalized in Beachbody and it's also advertised as personalized and customizable and it's just like to me it just needs much more attention than being 18 and anyone can be a coach kind of a thing like it needs to have some sort of education behind it where you can actually truly get to the bottom of these you know sometimes eating disorders but so that was kind of my point on this it wasn't necessarily saying that you can't talk about nutrition ever it's illegal like you know it's more like some people truly just need help more than counting containers. So that was my point, so.
Okay, back to the video. I can listen to what Beach Body is, and like that's what I usually do is like I would just like refer them to Beach Body stuff. But like the thing is with Beach Body is like I think it's a lot of over promise and it's under deliver because we promise so much. Like we can personalize a meal plan, not the case. It's it's a generic meal plan that you count, figure out your calorie intake and bracket, and then that's where you're placed. Like that's not personalized, but it's what's advertised and that's just not the case so this is very broad i have not heard one one word in here because i know i was very cautious about that you'll notice that beach body is not said in this at all could we could twist around to figure out what you need that would maybe work better in your life we can do that um and you also get um pre and post workout so my favorite i'm actually drinking it right now is the lemon pre-workout but there's also another one that's fruit punch that you can try um and then also there's post workout to help your muscles recover after your workout so it's just a protein powder that's natural and it has it's either chocolate or orange so when i think of chocolate it's like the nesquik chocolate milk and there's one in vegan as well or the orange that tastes like an orange dreams of calls like i said you get me you get the girls you get the workouts the meal guides you get these try the oh the workouts and the meal guides are a year long you get me for a year you get the support of the girls for a year you get the supply of um the 30-day supply of the supplements that I talked about. Um, it's all $160 right now. Um, so I'm super excited. It's a really awesome deal to have. I think it's like $13 a month with that bundle. A $13 gym membership basically for a year plan, you know. So it's very, very cool. It's very awesome that... Yes, okay, so this is where it's sold. Like, yeah, that's cheap. Like, $160 for a year and you get products on top of it. Like, that's affordable. Like, I'm not saying that's not. Where, what happens is, in these groups, in the emails that you're on still, new products are pushed. When you sign up as a disc discount coach, and even if you sign up, you're put on this HD order where you're continuously gonna be getting your stuff, your supply, until you cancel it. So, and that's a pain in the butt. It's a hassle. So, what happens is, yeah, it starts out being $160 plus the shipping and tax, which adds up to be another like 15 bucks, I think. Like, it's, it's crazy how quickly it adds up. But then after that, you have the products coming every month. They're getting charged. So, imagine being told $160, $13 a month, right? That's your first month supply of Shakeology or the performance pack. And imagine now, okay, great. That is great, okay? So, what happens if you sign up as a discount coach? $16 business fee. Stupid. I don't even know what that is for. Business fee to get a discount. And the discount's not even, I mean, it's whatever, but all of it's overpriced. All of it is. And so $15 business fee plus the monthly products that you're you're ordering. So that's on top of it, right? And then if you get Shakeology, that's if you don't, if you're not a discount coach, that's $140 a month, $140 a month added onto that. You're basically buying 11 more signup costs for a bag of Shakeology each month. Like that's where it gets you. Like that's where it doesn't stop it's not cheap after that. After the initial sign up, it's not cheap anymore. It literally can be $160, but it's, you're gonna be tempted a lot of times to keep ordering. The person who is your coach or whatever might reach out to you to, I have a lot of stories about that too, of coaches like har harassing their downline to go active for a rank if they're a discount coach. Like even if they don't want it, if they don't have the funds, they'll pay, they'll send money to get them active and all the things. Like it's just such a thing to get into. It's such a, such a scam. It's such a sham, you guys. Like it's just so, there's other options, there's better options. We have this to offer and I'm just so excited to get you started. I'm excited to do this with you and I'm excited to just help you take control and we're gonna do this together. We're gonna definitely get that control back. We're gonna get that excitement back in your life. We're gonna get that twinkle in your eye. I'm just like, so excited because it's definitely something I needed. I definitely, I know I'm talking fast you guys, but this is something I'm so thankful for and I'm very excited to share this because it literally, like, I don't even work the same jobs anymore. I work from home because it gave me the belief I needed and it's really silly. I advertised for them. I paid them to advertise for them at home and lose and lost money. I'm not saying I didn't make any income coming in, but from what I was spending to advertise and to put back into it, I was not making more. I was not working. <laughs> I was advertising for them, you guys. I was paying them to advertise. It sounds silly, but it started because I trusted and believed in myself, and I said yes to myself, and I started taking control, and that's what I needed. And so I'm very excited for you, and I hope you'll fill out the form below, and I'll chat with you soon, and we'll get started. I'm so excited to rock this with you. So yeah, there's that, I guess. So let me know, you guys, what, what are your thoughts on that below? I know it can you can look at that, and it's, like, tempting. Like, I understand, like, the... 
$160, wow. And like you get products, you know, for free on top of it. You guys, well you guys don't, like I don't know if you guys know this, but like on Her Beach Body on Demand, if you want like a yearly access and you don't, you're not interested, interested in any products, you can literally get it for $99. If you're serious about like, if you really want to try out the, the workouts, but you don't want to try products, you don't want the extra added costs, you can get either like a three month subscription for like $39, I think, or $99 for a year. So that's an option, but I know I've had people come to me saying they're pressured to get the $160 option or more because that's the only option and you get the products for free when you're paying extra for the products, but it's it's for the upline's benefit. It's for your coaches or whoever's trying to recruit you. It's for their benefit because they get like success club points over it or whatever, all the things, so, and get more commission off it. So that is that. I I don't even know if you guys can see, tell, but like I felt really, I feel like when I watched this now, like I, I felt really forced. Like I felt like I was, I looked really nervous and I, I I definitely didn't feel the passion anymore in that video. I think in other ones that you, if we, if I tend to watch more, if I do decide to watch more in the, in the, in the future, I think you'll notice maybe I was a little bit more passionate about it, but right now in that video, I, I don't see it, so. Also, you guys, if you guys see me look up every once in a while, I'm just making sure, like, I notice my lighting can change sometimes, so I'm trying to make sure, like, everything looks okay for you guys. And again, I thank you guys so much for your support. I can't believe we're already at 500, and it just means the world. You know, I'm just so excited to continue to spread the awareness and just educate, because, you guys, I have a really fun few weeks ahead. I think it's gonna be really awesome, and I just, I really, truly just wanna educate, because when I signed up, I didn't, as a coach, like, when I decided to coach, I didn't know there was rankings as far as emerald diamond like i didn't know what that entailed like what you had to do to get involved and to get to be you know successful in these things to maybe make money maybe not make money maybe lose money 99 percent of point something people lose or make like like just kind of stay they don't really make anything so i am just excited to continue to share that with you so i hope you guys enjoyed this make sure to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down either way it helps me out make sure to subscribe turn that bell on and i do want to give you a reminder that the merch is down below just give me some suggestions on it if what i should change what you like about it what you don't like about it keep all the opinions in the discussion down below classy and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys